pressure bandages can be very beneficial for neurotoxic bites. And in South Africa, that would be specifically the black mamba and the Cape Cobra. And the idea is by putting pressure on the lymphatic system, you can reduce the rate at which venom is absorbed. But the problem is it's extremely difficult to get the right pressure. So here I have a smart bandage. It has rectangles printed on it. And you stretch the bandage until you get squares. And you apply the entire bandage. So you have squares all the way. And in doing so, you get the correct pressure, which is around 50 to 70 millimeters of pressure on a blood pressure monitor. Once you've wrapped the entire limb, keep the arm as still as possible. It'd be a good idea to put a splint on because movement stimulates the lymphatic system and gets the venom moving again. So keep the arm really, really quiet and transport the person to a hospital. This does not work for uh, cytotoxic bites, puff bites, spitting cobra bites. Do not use a pressure bandage for that.